Hi, this is Dr. Long. <clears throat> this video is um, uh, to look at your model kit and to put together cyclohexane and to talk a little bit about cyclohexane. I'm doing this from my iPhone um, just to show you how easy um, uh, this is. So what I've done is I've taken six tetrahedral carbons and I've put these all together in a row uh, to essentially make hexane by itself. And as you might see, um, and as you've already been building and recording some of your isomer videos, you can tell that any alkanes um, that are singly bonded have free rotation. And we talked in the Collaborate session about um, looking at these from the Newman projection and, and talking about how we rotate and the energy conformations accordingly. So if you have six placed in a row, simply just take the N2 put them together. And you may look and see that it is definitely not planar. There's all of these bends and kind of wonkiness going on. But what we want to do is we want to put our left hand on one carbon. And we want to put our right hand on the opposite carbon. We want to hold our left or hold our right hand in place. In this case I'm going to hold my left hand in place. And I'm going to pull down this other carbon. The one on my left hand, I'm going to pull up, okay? And I'm going to do so until it stops. So again, I'm going to walk you through that. And it may already be in that confirmation for you. So I'm going to pull one up and one down. And what you're going to see is it sort of looks like a lawn chair confirmation. And this is what we call the chair confirmation. And if you have it in the chair confirmation, you sit it down on your desk. What you're going to see is that we have essentially three hydrogens that are bouncing down on the desk and we have three hydrogens that are sticking directly up. These are the axial hydrogens and then we have around here all the way around what we call the equator the equatorial position we have the other six hydrogens so we know we have C6 H12 so we have six hydrogens that are in the equatorial or in the uh, axial positions located up and down, so three up and three down, and then we have six that are in equatorial positions all the way around. This is the most stable conformation of cyclohexane. So if you have your model kit, I would like for you to go ahead and try and build uh, the chair conformation and go ahead and look at that. Then we're going to walk it through the um, boat conformation. So I'm going to pull it up on one side into the half chair and that's where the ring is flat and only one up here is angled up, one carbon's angled up. Then I'm going to move it right on up into the boat conformation and you're going to see the proximity of these two hydrogens here are actually quite close to one another. And because of space and where these reside, um, this is a higher energy conformer. Cyclohexane does not like to exist in this conformation. Well, if we pull the other side down, What we've now done is essentially what we call a ring flip. So now we're back to the uh, original. Um, <clears throat> we're back to the original chair confirmation, but it's the opposite one. So I want you to see what happens as we go from one chair to the other chair. Take note up here of this axial hydrogen. I'm going to move this one up, and I'm going to move this one down. Notice that this one now goes into an equatorial position. So what we've discovered is that when we go from one chair conformation to the other chair conformation, all of the axial hydrogens become equatorial and all of the equatorial hydrogens become axial. We are not simply flipping this over, okay? That's not what a ring flip is. A ring flip is when you walk through the conformations by simply moving the two end carbons up or down accordingly. I hope this video was helpful to you. And we will talk about this um, in our collaborate this week. All right, thanks.